Hey fellas, happy Friday. Um, I need to do this video because I need to be honest about what's uh, some of the things that happen in the gym. Now I'm going to show you. There's Franklin Mountains over there. It's a little warm out here. I got the pool. The pool's already done. I'm trying to stay out of. <laughs> I'm trying to stay out of the sun. I, I worked very hard uh, on the front of our yard. I have officially pimped out the pool. Now, of course, there's some leaves in the bottom of it and that kind of stuff. Ah, but anyway, um, it, it's uh, this is going to be difficult for me to explain because some of the guys I know that watch my content are uh, here in El Paso and they are um, coaches. Uh, like I used to be. I'm not a coach anymore. I don't consider myself a coach anymore. And it is what it is. Uh, God damn it. How do I say this? Look, when I say this, I'm not trying to be mean. Uh, but I need you to be realistic if you're my age. I'm 58. Um, there are men out there who have done a lifetime of coaching and have slowly lost a grip on reality. About an, two hours ago, now actually about nine, nine, it doesn't matter. I got invited down to Borderland Brawlers by one of my friends who's around my age, he's 52, and he said he wanted to spar with a guy, boxing spar with a guy. So I, I went down there and um, my 50 year old, 52 year old friend got his. Thank God. Let me tell you something. Here's the other thing. Here's the other thing. I have to say this. Thank God that there are good young men out there. Thank God that that young man didn't put my friend in the hospital. Now, he went to the emergency room. <laughs> but I, I, I want to tell you something. At, at some point in time, as you age as man, you're going to slow down. And you just... I've never understood the reasons why us older guys can't let go, why you can't just pass the torch, why you can't tell that guy, you know, God damn it, you're fantastic. I want to see you succeed. Here's here's what I learned, and, and you can talk to him about actual fights. But some of the guys that I know <clears throat> in my neighborhood, take it as a challenge, like it's the uh, young dog fighting the old dog, or the young rooster fighting the old rooster, or the, I don't know how, I don't know how to explain it, but um, all to say this, older guys, you know, there's, there's a graceful way for you to still be relevant, but you're not the guy anymore, <laughs> I can't even tell you. <laughs> The doctor, my doctor in the VA, his name is Dr. Chang. He's on the West Side Clinic here in El Paso, Texas. 79912. Um, he's like, Mr. Forsyth, I would like to be blunt with you. Uh, you don't need to spar anymore. <laughs> Anyways, and, and I would get off one punch, and it would be a great punch. It would be a perfect classic jab. And I'd get a, I'd get a, 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 I'd get a return hook, uppercut, cross. And I'd be laying on my back, looking up at the lights, going, "Man, that was a great jab." <laughs> that's not how. That's not how the real world. Hey, what's up, man? Um, all that to say this: if you want to claim yourself as a coach, there has to be a time when you realize that the younger men are taking our place, and that's a fantastic, great thing. It's not something to fight or be angry about. And that is that is the most 
difficult thing I have with the Manosphere, the red pill system, uh, the men go their own way thing. Um, to lie and tell a young man he's not faster, stronger, or better able to handle things, it's not, does he have the knowledge, the, the intrinsic knowledge? No. Does he have the experience of years and years and years? No. Can you help him? Yes. Or can you stand in his way? Can you? I, it, here it is. You just have to check your ego as, as an older guy. And that's, that's what I'm going to uh, title this video. Um, older men need to check their egos if they're actually trying to help a younger guy. Um, there's a guy they have down here who they call Thor. Thor. Now, he's a bartender. And... Um, he doesn't fit into the 265-pound uh, weight limit. He'd have to lose like 80, 90 pounds. This guy's almost seven foot tall. I look like a fucking child next to him. And he used to battle all the time at Briggs Academy MMA, where I used to teach martial arts. And the first time he actually sparred with the guy, he broke the orbit one punch. He threw one punch and pushed the guy off so he could get a better a jab. He used a left-handed jab and broke a guy's orbit. All right. Uh, why did I tell you that story? Because as we get older, as men, you have to be realistic. You're either trying to help these guys or you're not trying to help these guys, these young men coming up behind you. And I promise you guys, right after this video, I'm going to do the uh, um, dividend reinvestment plans, the drip stocks, uh, to let you know how we're doing with their money. But, I, and I don't mean this mean if you're a coach and you're my age, because I'm 58. Um, if you're going to be a coach, you have to be a coach. You can't be a coach fighter. Um and you have to check your ego. I, I can't tell you that was one of the easiest things I was able to do. I was like, look, I can, I can give advice and I can help these guys, you know, step, move, moving around, bobbing and weaving, all that kind of stuff. And I'm not going to get hit in the face <laughs> or I have to go home or I can't hear out of this here. And I'm like, what? <laughs> anyway, it doesn't matter. You guys know what I'm talking about. Or you lost some of the taste on the side of your mouth because you could fucking rock anyways. Not bad. Or you're going like this. Oh, anyways. Love you guys. Um, there are those of us out there. They're just good older men. And I, I don't need your money. I don't want... I would never ask or take anything from you, and I don't ever want you to think that you owe me anything. You don't want to like or subscribe or anything, but I guarantee you I'm going to keep doing these videos because you guys need to have somebody that's on your side that's not going to try to fuck you over or take advantage of you. So, And <laughs> my uh, friend is in UMC, University Medical Center. You know, and, and, and here, here, here's the last part, and, and this is the last part, and then I promise I'll let it go. You as an older man, if you're going to be a coach, and you swing hard on a young man, and he hits you back, don't fucking be surprised. It, anyways, the young man took it as a cheap shot, and my friends got his jaw wired shut. From here to here, I don't know if you guys have ever had a broken jaw, but uh, they fuse, they'll fuse this part, and then they're going to wire this part because it dropped down. Uh, the jaw dropped down out of, almost out of the socket. So, anyways, it doesn't matter. <laughs> oh, for what? For what? Because you thought you could kick this guy. Anyways, love you guys. Young men, let me tell you something. You are my future. I'm not trying to kick your ass. I'm not trying to teach you a lesson. 
I'm not trying to tell you if you don't be, if you're not like me, you don't know what the fuck you're doing. Ah, your lives are exponentially more difficult than my life ever was. All I'm going to do is give you some of the basic things that I think can help you. And I'm not going to ask anything from you. Love you guys. Stay safe and healthy. Take care of each other if you can. And if you get a chance to, <laughs> never mind. Like a fart in a G-string from West Texas, El Paso. I'm out of here. Bye-bye.